Today, you're going to be creating visual marketing for the LMU basketball team by applying the nudge technique to stagger a PNG layer, and you're going to be utilizing brushes to add dimension to an LMU athlete. And our inspiration for today is this uh, image of John Wall that I found on Pinterest. So let's jump right on into Photoshop, and here we can see is an example featuring our man Seth. We've got some, uh, we've got the gator in the background, we've got the text, we've got the calendar dates, and critically, we've got uh, Seth staggered in this sort of cross section and we've got some paint splattered in the background um, that maybe looks a little bit kind of like this or like this we're going to be striving to add something a little bit more dynamic to um to our LMU athletes alright so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to get your PNG you guys are going to go of course to the um, drive folder maybe you're going to get Jesse drive in the lane you're going to open your PNG in Photoshop and you're going to pop it right into your blank alright so what do we do next first thing that you're going to do is make sure that the layers palette is open and uh, what I know when we're looking right here we've got the background image and we've got layer one we've got Ian I'm gonna press M to pull up the marquee and I'm gonna teach you guys how to nudge so we're gonna make a selection and if you press V and then down on the uh, arrows on your keyboard what that does is it shifts that aspect of the layer one pixel down I press down two more times and actually let's zoom in to illustrate precisely what this looks like uh, I'm gonna press down and it shifts it down just one more pixel if we hold shift and we press down instead it's gonna shift it 10 pixels so what I want you guys to do today is you, we're gonna be creating like these kind of cross sections you're gonna press down twice and then you're gonna shift it over to the left or the right depending uh, on I don't know what looks good you guys are the artists so I'm gonna shift this over like so, and then we're going to press Command D, and we're going to be repeating that step a few different times. So I'm going to create it. Oh, and you know what? If you look right here, I didn't um, capture all aspects of this layer, so that doesn't look amazing. I'm going to press Command D, and we're going to start again. You guys are going to be super careful as you guys are doing this. Create a selection, press V, and we're going to go down twice, and then I'm going to hold Shift and I'm gonna go about 20 or 30 pixels over I pressed uh, right three times we're gonna deselect we're gonna create a selection we're gonna press V we're gonna press down twice All right two pixels we're nudging it two pixels and then I'm gonna go over to the left so it looks a little bit like that and then we're gonna deselect again marquee tool make a selection V down by pressing down twice and then we're gonna shift it over just a little bit and we're gonna do this a few more times Nudge, nudge twice, shift it over, and we'll do it one last time. Beautiful. All right. So once we've got our man Ian staggered, and because it's a single layer, I can shift it over like this. What we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to add brushes. How do we do that? Well, we remember that if we press B, and we've got a number of brushes at our disposal, and we know that we can, let's see, we can do some kind of simple things that look a little bit like this. Well, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer underneath our action layer. That's really, really important. And we've got to select an appropriate color. I'm going to press I to pull up the eyedropper tool, and I'm going to grab that green. And we need to get some new brushes. We need to get some uh, splatter brushes. And what you guys can do is go to BrushEasy.com. And when you get there, you can search, for example, splatter. You can click on top brushes. You're going to download them. But for today, what I would recommend you do is simply use the ABR files, the brushes that I already gave you in Google Classroom. Uh, so once we press B, we pull up the brush. We're going to click on this little cog, and we're going to load brushes. All right. So what brush should we start with? We've got this splat, spat, splat set brush. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, and I can see, uh, let's start with we got this one right here. I'm going to right click to increase the size. And uh, that looks kind of cool. Nice. I'm going to right click. I'm going to select this one now. And I know a few things. I know that that looks cool, but that's not the direction that I want it to go. I want it to be splatting. And instead of left to right, right to left. So what could we do? If you uh, grab this arrow, we can sort of shift it around and now it looks like this as opposed to where it was before right we're rotating it like 180 degrees so boom I'm gonna shift it over right there that kinda looks that kinda looks cool I'm gonna right click I'm gonna grab another brush and that's kinda crazy I'm gonna reduce the size I'm gonna press I 
Oops. I'm going to press I. I'm going to grab some of the orange from this basketball. I'm going to press B. Increase the size a little bit. And let's see. I'm going to rotate this a little bit. And if you want to see exactly what it looks like, one way you can have better control over this is if you go to Window, and then you click on Brush. And what I know is that we can now shift this over and we can see exactly what the brush looks like. We can see precisely where the splatter is going to go. I'm going to press B. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click that cog again because I want to load another set of brushes in. And here we've got watercolor. I'm going to uh, find this one. We're going to experiment. We're going to see what this looks like. And I'm going to grab the gray of his socks. I'm going to press B. And uh, I'm going to shift this around a little bit. I'm rotating it to a negative 162 degrees. I'm going to decrease the size a little bit. That looks that looks kind of corny, but you guys are going to experiment. That looks not bad. Let's do a f one more. Right click. Get a nice splatter. I'm going to return to that green, which I think is probably the color that you guys are going to be utilizing the most. Let's rotate this a little bit. Let's see. And boom. That looks kind of cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to be experimenting. You're going to be creating a cool visual like this. And if you have time, what I would encourage you guys to do is open up the images that you created yesterday. So here's here's uh, Jay's, and she did a really nice job. But I think that the brushes would really enhance um, what this looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to load. Um, not the splatter, not the watercolor, but the energy brushes. And if we go to the bottom, we can see that there's some pretty cool ones. I'm going to click right here. That looks great. Let's rotate a little bit. And all of a sudden, uh, this calendar's got a lot more energy. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, experiment. Cannot wait to see you.